Hello, Royalty. Good morning, and welcome to our touch point today. Once again, my name is God Gift Austin, your regular host and anchor to this channel. Like we used to do it, we pick our topics, deliberate on them scripturally to find out the mind of God in those areas of concern raised, and how to respond accordingly in those areas. And in so doing, those burdens and questions that have lingered over the time in our heart that seem to have defied answers are tackled. This morning, we will continue from where we stopped yesterday and our series, Admiration. And the question that we raised was, how do we admire God? No, yesterday also we raised a question of how do we admire our spouses? And in, in conclusion, we arrived at we need to appreciate them the way God stated. Like husband, love your wife, and your wife, respect your husband. And in another time, the Bible said, respect and love each other. These are ways to what? Admire. I know I've said it that anybody that did not do anything for you and you're admiring the person, you are actually lusting after that person. Because it's somebody that has done something that you admire and not somebody who has done nothing. This morning we'll continue from where we stopped and the first passage you read still on how do we admire our spouses is first Samuel, I mean Romans chapter 14, verse 17 to 18 that says, for the kingdom of God is not a matter of what we eat or drink, but of living a life of goodness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. If you serve Christ with this attitude, you will please God and others will approve of you too. The second passage is a Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 15 that says, Work hard so you can present yourself to God and receive his approval. Be a good worker, one who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly explains the word of truth. In other words, from these two passages, you see that God admires a servant's heart and a work of service. A servant's heart and works of service. So when you are committed to the work and to the assignment or to the calling of God, God admires you praise God in Proverbs chapter 12, verse 22. The Lord detests lying lips, but He delights in those who tell the truth. Honesty and faithfulness are valuable to God. God hates people that tell lies, but also uh, admires people that take or that say the truth. Amen. So, the next question is what should be what should be admirable about? What should we admire? What should admi admiration be about? You understand? So in Proverbs 31 verse 30, the Bible said, Charm is deceitful and beauty does not last, which is true. But a woman who fears the Lord will be greatly praised. Yes. So in other words, honoring and respecting the Lord and admirable, admirable qualities. It is not about the outward appearance, it's about the inward. So when you will honor and respect God, God sees them as a, a, a qualities to be admired. You all right? Praise God. So in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 13, I thought wisdom is better than foolishness, just as light is better than darkness. That is true. Proverbs 12 verse 3, A sensible person wins admiration, but a warped mind is despised praise god in first king chapter 3 verse 28 when all israel heard the king's decision the people were in hell of the king for they saw the wisdom god had given him for rendering justice what do we mean and what do we achieve here that wisdom and good sense are admirable what qualities also Wisdom and good senses are admirable qualities that God admires. In Proverbs 19 verse 11, sensible people control their temper. They earn respect by overlooking wrongs. Yes, so having self-control and being patient and forgiving are admirable qualities. You know, when you don't forgive, you are like taking a poison and expecting somebody else to die. 
So God admires people who forgive easily. You know, the Bible said that when we were yet sinners, God, Christ, gave himself for us. So, you see, God didn't, or Christ did not die for the righteous, nor the saints. He died for the sinners. So, we must learn to forgive. And for him to do that means that he had forgiven our sins and gave himself for us. Praise the Lord. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, uh, chapter 9, 13 to 14, as a result of your ministry, they will give glory to God for your generosity to them and to all believers who prove that you are obedient to the good news of Christ. And they will pray for you with deep affection because of the overflowing grace God has given you. Praise the Lord. So as we wrap up here, living generously in response to God's grace is what admirable. And I want to ask us questions. Are there people who you have listened to all these things that good sense and wisdom living you know, in, a, in response, generally in response to the will of God, they are admirable. And you look at yourself and you say, these things, qualities, I don't have, but I want to possess them. But you know, you can't have them outside Christ. It's only in Christ that it is possible. But you know now that it's only in Christ you can have them. And you want to acknowledge Christ in your life? Can you simply or quickly take this prayer after me and say, Lord Jesus, have mercy on my soul. I return to you as a son. Please forgive me. My sin, wash me clean by your blood. Well, I pour your spirit upon me. I want to live like you and reign with you in eternity. Write my name in the book of life. Delete it from the book of death. Give me a fresh start and a new beginning. Satan, I command you, take your feeding hands out of my life. You did not make me. You cannot keep me. My life belongs to Jesus and to him I have returned. Thank you, Jesus. I am born again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you have prayed this prayer with me this morning, I want to uh, say a big congratulations to you and encourage you to keep feasting and keep looking into this perfect law of liberty where the truth that sets men free emanates. And I know that your testimony is on the way. I also want to encourage my viewers and my followers all over the world, wherever you are watching from, the Lord bless you. It is because of you that we are still on this journey. And I want to encourage you never to take your eyes out of this thing that we're doing here. It's not just a thing, but it's a miraculous and wonderful and glorious thing. The Lord is saving souls. The Lord is doing wonders. The Lord is turning lives about because as your questions have been tackled, you know, the burdens that are lifted from your heart. So, so, so keep sharing this. Invite everybody. The world is our target and we go viral. To the whole world. Thank you for being part of us as you 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 enjoy or step out for your day activities today. The Lord beautify your feet. The Lord bless you. This month is your month of harvest. I'm harvest and multiple harvest and increase in the name of Jesus. It is well with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.